In this video, I will show you how to work with proxies in Penguin Recovery Jeet. Penguin Recovery Jeet needs a lot of data to correctly analyze a website or a link and find out if it is toxic. It gets all of this data online from a variety of different sources. For every website, Penguin Recovery Jeet does numerous web calls. Many of these calls also go to google.com and other websites which are the storehouse of information. Sometimes the website in question may not like getting too many requests from one IP and may rate limit or stop access if you repeatedly make requests. In such cases you will need to use proxies. For most normal users this won't be necessary because only large and very popular websites will have that many backlinks to create an impact of this kind. If you intend to use Penguin Recovery Jeet on your personal website, you don't need a proxy. But if you are a professional SEO provider and need to analyze a number of websites daily, then you need proxies to send all those requests online to Google. You can use proxies free, you can get them free online or you can buy private or shared proxies if you want more reliable proxies. Usually the prices are quite competitive and affordable and you will be able to easily pay for them if you are providing this as a service. Penguin Recovery Jeet works with HTTP proxies, so make sure if you're getting private proxies or shared proxies that they are HTTP proxies only. Let's find out how to set up a proxy correctly inside Penguin Recovery Jeet now. All you need to do is put in the proxy URL in this box over here. You can put in the URL with just the proxy IP address or if you want you can add a prefix http to it it works both ways for my test i'm not adding the prefix but it doesn't really matter next you need to check if these proxies are working or not if you've got private or shared proxies that you've purchased and paid for there's a very little chance that those won't be working but if you're trying to make do with free proxies you will need to make sure because they often don't work just click on the test proxies button over here and Penguin Recovery Jeet will test each proxy making sure that it works. In our test, we are testing three proxies and we'll find out soon how many of them worked and how many didn't. So as you can see, two of the proxies worked and the third one didn't. When we click save settings over here, Penguin Recovery Jeet will only save the working proxies and all the commented lines will be automatically removed so let's save settings close and come back we only see the work the proxies that are working so if you put in a proxy that doesn't work and save it without testing that will be a problem because penguin recovery jeet will not be able to get the data that it needs as it will be accepting the bad proxy and trying to communicate with the web with the website with google or any other website through the bad proxy and it won't be getting the data the results that will be shown will not be correct so make sure you put in valid proxies and test them it's very important and i want to emphasize it sometimes proxies come with a specific port number in that case you can add the port number like this put a colon at the end of the proxy address and put in the port number that's the standard uri format Sometimes they may also have a username and a password along with the proxies. Put the password and the username in a par in parenthesis like this. You can put in the password if it doesn't come along with the username. But if it comes with the username too, then put in the username and separate them with a colon. When you've put in your proxies correctly and verified them by testing them, just click on the save setting button over here and Penguin Recovery Jeet will record these proxies, it will save these proxies and when you try to carry on a test, when you try to do a test the next time, the software will communicate only through these proxies. If you put in more than one proxy address like I've done this time, Penguin Recovery Jeet will randomly select a proxy for each request so the traffic will be pretty natural as the selection is random and it will look like a very very natural source of traffic. So if you're going to analyze a lot of websites, if you're going to provide SEO services or if you've got a huge website that has thousands and tens of thousands of backlinks 
or if you're going to analyze 30 40 websites in a day then you can put in proxies and that will solve the problem of traffic sending traffic to too uh, many so sending too much traffic to the sources but if you go to only one website and you're not using it all day you're not using it very intensively then you don't need to worry because proxies are not required for penguin recovery g to work it can work pretty well without proxies too so try it without the proxies first and if you feel that google is barring your traffic if you see a message like that then you know that you need to purchase proxies and or you need to get free proxies if you're going to be a professional i recommend that you purchase them they're pretty cheap and they will solve a lot of headache so this is it for the proxy proxy training and i hope with this you can understand how to put in proxies inside uh, penguin recovery jeet for your quick reference i provided the proxy format on the top right hand corner you can see that it is address colon port in parenthesis user id colon password that is the format that you can use to put in your proxies proxies and i've also got a few examples over here which you can see and understand from